Red Wings fans stand up Yeah, we gonna throw them wings up Wings up, wings up Show the league that this is our time Let's make the city proud We gonna win the Stanley Cup Stanley Cup, Stanley Cup After that we gonna party We go show everybody We show them all around the world We show them all around the world We show them all around the world We gonna throw them wings up We gonna throw them wings up on uh. What's up, Red Wings fans? I'm Carly Johnson, and welcome to Coffee with Carly, presented by Tim Hortons, quarantine style. This time, we have none other than Dennis Chalowski with us today. Dennis, how's it going? It's going great. How are you? I'm good, just trying to stay healthy and stay sane while staying inside. <laughs> it's uh, interesting times, definitely. Yeah, no kidding. So where are you at right now? Omaha, Nebraska at my girlfriend's childhood home. Oh, wow. What are you doing there? Helping her pack all her stuff up and, and uh, move out to my place in Detroit. Awesome. Speaking of childhood homes, you grew up in British Columbia. What was life like for young Dennis? Oh, it was fun. Um, you know, my family's always been, you know, have always been big supporters of me and still are. And, um, you know, growing up there, hockey was the number one thing for everybody. All my friends played it. Of course, I played it. And, um, that's that's obviously the big sport around there. So, um, yeah, I had a lot of fun growing up. I've played hockey since I was three, four years old. And, and you know, thankfully it's turned out okay so far. Speaking of hockey, let's talk about your uh, path to where you are today. You were drafted by the Red Wings in the first round in 2016. What was it like hearing your name called by an original 16? Oh, it's something you'll never forget. Um, you know, you only get drafted one once and to be drafted by an original 16 with the history that Detroit has is it's something special for sure. Um, you know, sitting there was just nerve wracking. Me and my dad sitting beside each other just waiting, hoping my name would be called that day and thankfully it did. It's something I'll never forget. And then in 2018, in October, you made the opening night roster out of training camp, which is incredible, making your NHL season debut in front of a home crowd at Little Caesars Arena. I remember I was there. What was it like to play with a wing wheel on your sweater? Oh, it was so cool. Um, you know, you grow up watching the NHL and watching guys, you know, put on the jersey. And yeah, that was a special night. My whole family was there. And it was a cool moment. So not only did you make your NHL career debut, you also scored your first NHL goal. Were you just completely on cloud nine? I mean, what was going through your head in that day? Well, yeah, I was already on cloud nine. The fact that I made the opening night roster, and then, you know, when I scored the goal, I, I don't even remember the rest of the game. It was the <laughs> coolest moment, and um, that that's right now, at least right now, that's my number one moment, you know, that I've experienced. That's incredible. And how are you enjoying living in Michigan? Uh, you've been on both ends in Detroit and in Grand Rapids. Yeah, I like it a lot. Michigan's been great to me so far. I, I, you know, I have a nice place in Detroit. And then obviously, Grand Rapids is really nice too. And being able to play some games there and, and getting to know all the guys has been great. And Detroit is, is one of the premier um, organizations in the league. So be able to play for them and put that jersey on every night is pretty cool. I've heard you're a bit of a sneakerhead. Uh, well, have you always been infatuated with shoes? What got you started? Yeah, definitely always been infatuated with shoes, um, but I didn't really get into it until my first year in Detroit. My girlfriend introduced me to the Kanye West shoes, the Yeezys, and I got into those a little bit, <laughs> and then I started doing my research and got into Jordans, and it really just took off from there. And and I have way too many pairs of shoes now. It's it's probably not healthy, but <laughs> I do cherish the collection, so. All right, if you had to estimate, how many pairs of sneakers do you think you have? If I had to estimate, I would estimate around 70 to 75 pairs, and I keep them all <laughs> upstairs in my closet. And I will be honest, they've kind of taken up most of the room in the closet, and my girlfriend oh my is not overly happy with that but you know, we'll, <laughs> might have to find a different place for them so we'll try to make it work do you have a favorite pair i don't know i have a pair of uh a retro jordan one chicago jordan ones kind of the ones he wore mm -hmm. back in 1985 obviously they've been remodeled i don't have an original 1985 okay. pair but yeah I, I would say I, I cherish those the most i wore them once and and i just 
can't risk getting a scuff on them, so they've been sh sitting on the shelf ever since. So you just buy these shoes and you wear them once and then you just keep them to look at? Well, I try to wear them all in rotation. I don't wear the same pair twice. Um, I'll try to oh get through them gosh. all once and then, and then kind of re-rotate from there and um, kind of base my outfits around them, I guess. So. Awesome, that's great. Is there anything that I didn't ask about that we should know about or that you want to talk about? message right now is just stay quarantined and stay safe and you know i pass that along to everybody else and you know this is this is interesting times for everybody and you know hopefully we can all get through this and you know get back to playing as soon as we can love it well thank you so much for being on coffee with carly dennis we really appreciate it stay healthy and stay happy i can't wait to see you back on the ice yeah thank you for having me Thanks for tuning in, Hockey Town. That was Coffee with Carly, presented by Tim Hortons.